don't let him go. We have no idea if this man is armed, and until we know, nobody is making a move, okay? He looks like Langston. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Addy. He does. Around the eyes. Just like me and Sam. Me llamo Addy. Nosotros somos las mujeres crema. El gusto es mío, Addy. Addy, thank you. But that's enough with the Spanish. Spanish is beautiful language. Elena. It's on my list. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Dr. Sean. Lord. Yes, please. Uh, take charge of this gentleman. No problem. Come he was me. about to leave. No, wait, 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 wait. What if he's really my uncle? Look, it's, it's okay, Sean. If I may, this is a picture of your mother when she was young. And the guy next to her is me. Anyone can Photoshop a photo. Right. I've seen this picture before. A long time ago, I found it in the attic, some old trunk, but my mother got really upset. She wouldn't tell me who the guy was. We don't know who this guy is. If you really are Langston's uncle, where were you when her parents died? So what are you? Are you a drug dealer? No, I'm innocent. You're all innocent. Look, I was kidnapped. And brought here, to Colombia. Ridiculous. The Colombians don't want problems with the United States. Your family shouting at the ambassador, making speeches. My family doesn't even know I'm here. You know what, maybe you can call them. My brother's a police detective in, in Pennsylvania. He's got connections. Just one call can sort this whole thing out. You gotta be kidding me. My life just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What do you mean, what? Nothing. Go on, Bo, this is more important. What, what, what is this, what is this footage? Where, where is Chris? This DVD is from airport security in New York. It was recorded about a half hour after your flight took off. Who's the guy with him? Well, he looks like an airport employee. He's got a uniform. Security can't identify this person yet. We're going to have this image enhanced. Okay. Well, is, is, there, is there more to the DVD? You think that Chris was taken to a part of the airport where there are no cameras. And then what? He's, he's not still there. I'm assuming they searched, right? We found a rag in one of the loading docks. It was soaked with chloroform. What, they, they kidnapped him? That's what it looks like. Is he? We don't think so, no. That's not Hesser's at all. So you're sure that Carlo is behind this? Well, this is the way that he works, and he's, he's not locked up anymore. So where is he? Your mother and I, we, uh, we had an uh, argument. We were uh, angry. Uh, I didn't want her to marry this Americano. But she left, she, she went to America before we had a, a chance to, uh, to forgive each other. Uh, time went by, years passing, and I, uh, I lost my uh, connection to her. I should have written to her, but I uh, was uh, stubborn. And your mother, you know, she was a very proud woman, verdad? Yes, she was. I didn't even know I had a niece until recently. And how is it that you happened to find out about Langston? This is my letter of resignation. It's dated last year. I've been carrying it around for months. I've let you down, Mr. Buchanan. 
and I regret it more than I can say. Won't take me long to pack. I should be gone within the hour. What do you offer you? I beg your pardon? Jared Banks, how did he get to you? The truth is I've kept a secret, a family secret, for many years. So Jared Banks blackmailed you? No, no, nothing like that. You see, I've known for quite some time that David Vickers was the missing heir. And knowing Mr. Vickers' character and how you will regard him, let's just say I thought it in the family's best interest to keep mum. And then Mr. Banks arrived. I knew he was an imposter, but he seemed a better candidate. His business school background, his adoration of your father. But in any event, I had no right to keep the truth from you. And now, everything that's followed, the loss of the company, the death of poor Mr. Brennan, it's all my fault. I brought irreparable harm to the family. It's been my honor to serve. If you'd like me to clean and load your gun, just say the word. I learned about Langston because of you, Dr. Lord. I read an article in a magazine. It was uh, all about you uh, taking over the Buchanan Enterprises. I believe that was your interview in American Business Weekly. It's very, very interesting. You talk about your foster child, Langston Wilde. And how did you know that Langston was your niece? I knew that Linda had married a man named Wilde, and Langston Hughes was her favorite poet. She discovered him when she was 13, 14. She was always uh, uh, quoting that line about uh, life not being a crystal stair. She used to say that to me, too. And after you read the article? I looked for my sister on the internet, and I was sad to read that she had passed away. It was a terrible day. But I made a vow to myself that I would find you. Don't listen to a word he says, Langston. He's a con man. He's after your money. That is not true. I don't want money. I came here to see her. I wanted to see her face. You will blame me, Dr. Lord. You, and with this Mujeres Kramer, you will blame me because I want to know my niece? Maybe um, you are a constant reminder of how guilty she feels. She felt responsible for Nash's death, and I mean, she felt like a murderer. Okay, that's another thing. Natalie feels horrible about what happened to Nash. We both do, but we know it was an accident. Well, whatever the reason, uh, you know, she obviously felt that she needed to go. Maybe when you went away on your business trip, um, she realized that life without you was, was easier. I don't think so. What I think, I think this letter's a fake. Well, it has her handwriting, Jerry. Even so. Are you telling me that somebody forced her to write that letter? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Someone forced her to write this letter. Yes! Are you really my uncle? I am. You've come a long way to find Langston. Would you like to tell me what it is exactly you want from her? You want me to call the police in Pennsylvania? They won't let me use the phone. The guy I told you about, Carlo Hesser, he paid them off. Please, just, just one phone call. Just tell my brother where I am. And what about my husband? You're wearing his uniform. I'm supposed to do you a favor while he's still missing. Never. <laughs>